I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for IPROC USA, Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to talk about how to properly start and shut down a Smart Rock T40 drill. Here at the rear of the machine, we have our master battery switch that we're going to turn to the on position. We're only going to do this after we've properly executed our pre-shift inspection. With our master switch turned on, up here in the cab, we want to turn our key switch to the on position and wait for the RCS screen to boot up. When we're at this point in the screen, we're not fully booted up. We have the emergency stop tripped, which means that we need to push the blue button right next to the e-stop inside the cabin. Then we have to clear out the trouble code. Note that the def fluid level is active and we're ready to start the rig. To start the drill, we're going to simply push the start button here, which is lit up green. And now we're running. To shut down the rig properly, let the engine idle for a few minutes to bring the temperatures back down. To shut the rig off, we want to push the same button that we used to start it to turn it off. Don't use the key switch to shut it down because the RCS screen will shut down and we may have an issue with te exhaust temperatures waiting to cool down. After the machine shut down, we can then turn off the key and the RCS screen will turn off. Now that we've shut down the machine from inside the cab, we can come to the back of the machine where the master switch is located. There's a red light here indicating that the def fluid has not been sucked back down out of the art head. This is to prevent crystallizing of the fluid inside the system. Once this light turns off, we can then switch the master switch off until the next shift. If you need further assistance with this, please contact your local EpiRock service center or the dealer in your area.